Welcome to another vlog guys. Today I'm giving you some inspiration of a few things that you can do in Manila no matter if you are a foreigner coming to the Philippines and just want to see what Manila has to offer or if you're a local and just want to explore your city. Let's get right into it. If it's your first time in Manila, then I can highly, highly recommend the Intramuros tour. Make sure to take the BAM bike tour so you don't have to walk for hours. It's quite a pleasurable experience and you will learn a lot about the rich history of the Philippines and see some really, really beautiful sights. And while you are in the area, maybe you want to pop by at La Catedral Cafe to see the beautiful church on a rooftop that looks like the Vatican. The food, in all honesty, it's okay but the view will make up for it. Especially during nighttime, it turns into this magical place and it's super, super stunning to just sit there, have a drink, eat a little bit and enjoy your time. Next thing on my list is actually something that is super, super underrated. It is a sunset boat ride. Yeah, I thought, all right, Manila Bay sunset ride, not sure about that, but it was so amazing. We booked a boat for four people. It was around 7,000 pesos, so we split the cost. We could bring some wine and snacks and we enjoyed the phenomenal view of the Manila skyline while the sun set. Speaking of sunsets, while you are in this area, definitely pop by at the Conrad Hotel, reserve a spot at one of the restaurants or their bar, enjoy the sunset day with some phenomenal food, great wine, and there's also an amusement park there, so you can just go down there before and enjoy sunset later on. If you are traveling with kids, there's also something in the Conrad Hotel that I can highly, highly recommend, which is the Dessert Museum. And while you might think, oh, this is just for kids, nothing for me, I will prove you wrong because it was a lot of fun for us grown-ups to just go there and explore it. And, and I'm pretty sure you will have lots of fun and take some amazing pictures for the gram. But just be aware of all the candy that you will eat because you will have a sugar rush. Don't go too crazy on the candy. want to experience some authentic street food, definitely go to Binondo, the oldest Chinatown in the world. We did a tour with Binondo Food Walk and we explored everything around Binondo, what there is, groceries, temples and of course plenty of food. So come hungry, keep an open mind and eat your way through it. If it is your first time in Binondo, just a piece of advice, it can be a little bit hectic there's a lot going on a lot of new uh, impressions that you will have especially when you're a foreigner coming from a western country um, it needs some adaption but pretty sure it will be a very very memorable experience for you if you want to explore a little bit more of the food scene here in manila definitely check out either one of many food halls that they have here or visit for example the weekend market in makati um, there is Salcedo Village Market on Saturdays and the Legaspi Village Sunday Market. Not only do some grocery shopping at a very low cost, but also try a lot of street foods that you can't find anywhere else. It's a great mix of different cuisines. It's a very pleasurable experience and I personally go there almost every week. Speaking of Makati, something that you should not miss out on is the Makati nightlife in Poblacion. Poblacion is a very local neighborhood that turns into this vibrant nightlife as soon as the sun sets. There are plenty of bars there that will make sure that you'll have a fun night out and usually every night ends with some food in your belly because after all the drinking you need some food. Definitely check out all the food spots that they have to offer. 
they are open very very late if you want to go on a shopping spree and get a feel of italy definitely visit the venice grand canal mall in bgc that has some italian inspired architecture and a canal and gondolas and there's even a gondolieri that will sing in italian for you so it will be a wholesome experience uh, something very different maybe something that you haven't experienced before so definitely check it out Travel back in time and visit Las Casas Filipinas Atu Car, which showcases the Filipino heritage and has a rich history that you can explore. And if you're hungry, there is a restaurant there that is mwah, highly, highly recommended. So it's definitely worth a visit. And while you are in Quezon City, you can also do a cooking class. We took part in a Filipino food cooking class there. It was a lot of fun. It's about three to four hours, I think. And we went to the market, uh, sourced the food, learned a lot about the ingredients and cooked the meal together, which is a very, very cool experience for especially foreigners. And that was it. I hope that was a very short but good overview of the things that you can do in Manila on your short stay. Definitely subscribe for more. I will link all the locations in the description box down below so you can check it out for yourselves. And if there are any things that you love doing in Manila, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Something that you want us to feature on the vlog maybe. We have plenty, plenty of videos on our channel and I couldn't do a thousand things on this video, but definitely subscribe for more. Um, there's lots, lots more to come and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome, be positive and make it happen. Bye-bye.